Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to pull the data from our target org and then we are going to show the same data in our source org. In the previous video, we authenticated between these two org, right? The link for the same video will be provided in the description, how we authenticated and how we use name credential for the same. Right now, we are just going to expose the Apex classes from our target org and then consume those Apex classes in our source org. But before that, if you like my videos and I'm able to help you out to understand integration or any other concepts of Salesforce, please, please consider subscribing my channel. So let's jump back to the video. So what I want is I have logged in as inside the target org inside the Chrome, as we can see, and inside source org, I'm logged in via edge. So I first of all, I want to pull the data from target org and inside the source org. So first things first, I need to expose the classes expose the resources from the target org so for that i'm going to go to developer console X classes integration expose So as we need to expose our epic class, that's why I'm going to use rest resource and also I'm going to provide a URL mapping along with that. And as I'm exposing it, I need to make it global. And then what I want is I want to show this particular data, particular contact. And I need to basically I need to pass this data, this particular data to another org, right? I need to pass this data. So I'm going to use HTTP get public, sorry, global static void, sorry, contact, contact, get con. contact con equals to I'm going to pass the particular record ID and return con so we are done Okay, I'm just going to copy this. It's not saving. I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to save it. Okay. Most probably, yeah. So our Apex class is perfectly safe. Using HTTP get, we are going to expose this particular contact to the external services, to the another system, right? So now this data is available. So I'm going to consume the same. So first of all, for that, I'm going to go to the developer console. file new integration consume and then I need to consume that's why I'm going to create a method public static void or let's say call out and then inside this first I'm going to create, going to create an HTTP object And then HTTP request as we need to make a request 
need to send a request sorry and once we have created the request request to what kind of a request so i have to set the method it should be get as we need to get the data from the another system but from which url from i need to provide the url as well but if you have watched my previous video of name credentials and how i authenticate it i did provide my endpoint url in the name credential itself so this is where i provided the endpoint url this is an authentication this is the part of authentication video i'll provide the link for the same in my description so i'm going to copy it and then call out colon this and then i have to provide my url mapping so my url mapping is this before that i need services slash apex rest slash yeah now we need to send this request and basically i need to send this request using http object As soon as you are going to send the request, you are going to get some kind of a response. So I'm going to store that response inside inside HTTP response object, and then we are going to check the status code. Now, if status code is uh, 200, that means Things are working perfectly fine. To make a call out, execute, and let's see. So, code is 200. So, I am able to connect and I am also able to get the data. So, if this dot get status code equals to 200, then system dot debug this is data as it is dot get body so again i'm going to make a call out and let's check what's the data so as we can see id is this and name is timbar so if you go to this record id is cs triple a i think so cs triple a and name is also timbar name is also timbar so this is how we pull the data first of all this is how we expose the data to the external system and this is how we pull the data from the external system inside your own salesforce lock so if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to my channel